Oh no, we have to close the channel. No, I've messed it all up. No. Yeah, someone unsubscribed yesterday. <coughs> and they told me. Even though they hardly ever comment on any of my videos. So they probably weren't subscribing anyway. That's a little trick I used to do in my very childish uh, early 30s on <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> yeah, my YouTube's been around for a long time. About the same time as uh, stage, well, streaming DivX, but there was a, a website called Stage 6.divx.net or something like that. And it had, uh, at the time that YouTube was 240p and not owned by Google yet, uh, they had 480p streaming videos. And uh, so they were four times the quality. And uh, it used half as much CPU power. Guess which one of those systems won out exactly, mate? Fucking millennials. Now... The reason they gave for, uh, God damn it, the reason they gave for the uh, rolled up going out, and also for unsubscribing, uh, I'm paraphrasing here because I believe they're translating to English. Um, they said uh, too many reminders clogging up the channel, which means the premieres. Uh, the premieres are there because I don't have a webcam there's no way for me to do a live thing until most of the house is finished um, or any kind of camera that I could uh, stream with can't do it with the only camera I've got so the premieres are there simply because the only way you can uh, get <coughs> any kind of chat. So it's a bit selfish to say that because I'll put the chat there for everyone else, really. <coughs> yes, I have just woken up. Yes, it was a very rude awakening. Yes, the, uh, the delivery driver was banging on the fucking door. I'd already been woken up at fucking half six by uh, some invisible cunt putting an invisible fucking, uh, you know, dustbin, you know, the big wheelie bins. And I was like, piss off. I can't even see who it is to fucking uh, wish them dead. Anyway, and so good luck with the channel. Now, that's an interesting set of comments. Unsubscribing, I don't need to know that. Too many reminders clogging up the channel. Well, that's just selfish. That's for everyone's benefit. Uh, good luck with the channel. My channel's dead. I know my channel's dead. These videos only exist because the camera is on while I'm playing C64, VCS, NES, PS2 and 7800 games. I haven't played any other systems on camera yet. Oh, I'm Vic20. Yeah, I had a brief, a brief affair with a Vic20. So, I mean, obviously that Rescue on Fractalus thing, that's a big thing, even though it's only about 13 and a half minutes long. But it's a big video, mate. It's a proper video. I'm not even in it. Yes, it's my uh, editing that's in it. And uh, I think it's my, uh, my split retrotronics, split fanny retrotronics, where the two halves come together. That took a... It didn't take that long actually once I'd worked out a simple way of getting round the lack of features in uh, my video editor. I just faked it. Faked it and I have faked it. Just like Kramer. You know, when you just had enough already and you just want to get some sleep. Yeah, that only happens on blind dates. But anyway, I'm not going to that too much. So, yeah, now, um, so the only thing uh, that really is mildly 
Well, it's not even annoying, it's just like it's weird because well that video is not actually a gameplay video, that video is so like everyone knows that is coming on and they could talk about it because Rescue on Fractalus is one of the most underrated, unheard of games in general, not not outside the Atari community, yeah, everything else though. Uh, and it really deserves, it deserves your attention because it probably is, oh, I'm going to say it's the best 8-bit game of all time on the Atari 800, 800XL. It's like Shadow of the Beast for the Amiga 1000, <clears throat> which it does run on. It runs on the 1985 Amiga 1000. Make sure you get the NTSC copy, that's all. And uh, it still runs though, you just miss a bit of the bottom of the screen. If you run the PAL version. God damn, roll up! But it is, it's the most groundbreaking game. And I wanted to make that video for like, probably a decade actually. It was probably about a decade ago when I was like, oh, when I sell my house and retire, I'm going to make YouTube videos with crap video quality with a camera pointed at a CRT screen. I knew I was going to do that. There was, uh, was at least two channels doing that and they were doing okay. They were doing better than me. But anyway, my channel's been dead for a decade. Well, I said these videos only exist generally because uh, I'm sitting here, I'm having me tea. Yes, we are having tea. I deserve a tea today. <coughs> For the wheelie bin and the banging on the door to deliver my prescriptions, which I have to get weekly business, no, nothing else. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, there was a documentary on Elite, but uh, I'm sorry, Rescue on Fractalus is far, far more advanced than uh, Elite on the BBC Micro. In fact, <clears throat> Captain Blood on, uh, I think it's called Captain Blood. It's that French game, <clears throat> the prequel to Purple Saturn Day, sort of. Uh, when you land on the planets and it's wireframe, a bit like uh, Elite, you think, oh, that's shit. It should be like Rescue on Fractal. Why isn't it like Rescue on Fractal? Exactly, so therefore Rescue on Fractal is better. <laughs> So, and I haven't been rude about it. If someone wants to unsubscribe, I'm not stopping anyone. I don't force anyone to watch this channel. <coughs> I make the videos. I watch them back. If they make me laugh or they're interesting, then they, they end up on YouTube. It's a simple process, really. Ciao. We've played Cactus, we've played one version of Kane, I don't know which one, whether it's Kane 1 or 2, not Kane version 1 or version 2. I think I've played Kangaroo, but I might not have. Right, it, Karnov, now, Karnov uses a bitmap screen, um, I think. And if it doesn't, it is definitely the worst C64 game of all time. But anyway, Karnov, if it does use a bitmap screen, that explains why it's like a third of the speed of the Spectrum. Because the bitmap mode on the C64 and the Spectrum is pretty much the same, but uh, the way the way that uh, screen memory is accessed on the Spectrum, it is kind of optimized. They well, they have a 6K screen because it's a 32 column machine, so you can work it out. An extra eight columns will give you the extra like 2K. And they don't have color RAM, they have attribute RAM, which I believe is 256 bytes. 
Now on the C64 it's 1K for color RAM. But you only use the first... For, yeah, you only use the first half of the byte. I don't know if it's the second half. I think it's the first half. So you could actually store some uh, game data in color RAM. But it might slow things down. But uh, anyway, everything about this game is wrong. Now, Mr. Micro, they did publish uh, Punchy, which is nothing like this. It's, it's, it's not. Now, the first thing you notice is uh, every single color on the screen has a black background. That is not bitmap mode. Now on the spectrum, there is only one screen mode, and every single 8x8 pixel character block on the spectrum, you can change the foreground and the background color. So when people look at a character based high res uh, C64 game, they say, mm, spectrum graphic is not. They're fucking ZX81 graphics, mate. Slightly. Well, sorry, Mattel Aquarius. Let's, let's get it right. To actually uh, do the same as the Spectrum, uh, C64 has to use the 8 kilobyte screen mode, which needs a lot of programming talent, which clearly uh, <coughs> software studios did not have. I oh, can't play it anyway. Oh well, I was going to show you how shit it is, but uh, anyway. You've seen enough from the loading screen. Take it from me, bruv, it. I think I played Kendo Warrior. I think I was saying it called uh, FA something or other or Fast Soccer. Keep pressing the wrong button. You know me and my footy games, isn't it? Oh, fantastic soccer, there we go. So the cats have moved all the boxes on the top row of the uh, enormous patio windows. Now I can't find where I put the... Um... Oh, actually, I'll probably remove the curtain rail from there before uh, COVID-19. So I'll probably thought, ah, I'll just go up B&M and get another curtain rail or get one from Argos, whatever. Who knew that going to put bank in my savings account for PayPal or going to B&M would be a risk to my life? I do prefer tea, I must admit. Tea with two spoons of Splenda. Good quality tea bags, not PG tips. They taste like fucking battery acid. Actually, PG tips taste like monkey piss, so that's why there's there used to be monkeys in the uh, PG tips advert. <clears throat> now, my mum likes PG tips. I'm more of a techie person if I'm not going to splurge for the, uh, you know, Yorkshire tea tea bags. We have played this. I remember the loading screen. Next. <coughs> So the only reason that will kill the channel is I haven't finished enough of the house and I've played all these games on the uh, C64. <laughs> Faulty Towers then, let's see, is this uh, an official conversion or some shoot em up construction kit bollocks? At this point I probably have some crisps, but uh, I don't have any. And homemade crisps. Yes, you can make nice homemade crisps, but what you're going to flavour them with? I don't like ready salted. Those are really your options: ready salted or uh, curry flavour crisps. So, and they're a real pain in the ass to make. I have to say, and you have to use a big pot. You don't want the uh, crisps coming together. A bit like the millennials. Don't come together, mate. We've got enough people on the planet. Yes. I wonder what uh, distracting fake bullshit news they've got on at the moment now that the uh, COC26 summit is over. Mm. 
Anyway. I could do another roll up after that little uh, rant. Well, I have literally just woken up, so there's that. So yeah, that's the only thing that would kill my channel. Uh, well, actually, no, technically not. Uh, the other reason is, I might just wake up one morning and decide I don't want to have the camera on while I'm playing these games. Maybe because, you know, I'm playing, I'm going to be playing the same games over and over again and I've already done multiple videos on the good games. Once I'm at that situation, then, uh, yeah, videos will become really rare. Uploads on this channel will be uh, very sparse. Retrotronics? Well, Retrotronics, that's probably, that channel's probably ruined because um, YouTube has already decided that the channel's a failure. It doesn't get any promotion by the YouTube algorithm. Yeah, anyway. Shame really, I spent about half hour working out how to do the uh, intro title graphics on that one. And then I worked out an even better way of doing it, a very early 80s to mid 80s sort of way of doing it. Yeah, you don't really care. I oh, know. There's going to be no loading screen on this, so we just... Uh, Yeah, and another thing, uh, <clears throat> not just uh, condoms would uh, sort the climate situation, banning of uh, thin jumpers, millennial quality uh, clothes for sale for the fucking millennials, who piss all their, you know, money away on useless horseshit on Amazon. Because if you have a thick jumper on, and, uh, you know, you sit in your house and uh, most of the time you're just reading a book by natural light. And uh, I just think how low your fuel, fuel bills would be, mate. But as soon as you put one of these Primark jumpers on, you're fucked, it better be summer, mate. One week equals 1k moves. Trying to close you down. Text adventure. All right, next. <coughs> Who decided uh, fucking Faulty Towers would be a, a fucking text adventure game? Yeah, I'm watching Faulty Towers and I'm thinking, ooh, that wouldn't half be a funny little, uh, you know, plot in a text adventure. Yeah, fuck off, mate. Just because you can't program for shit. <coughs> I'll go on. I'm pretty sure Falklands 82 is not an actual proper game. As in, uh, you know, released sometime between 1982 and uh, 1993. And if it was, then it'd be like a Commodore format fucking uh, public domain piece of shit. Yeah, mine it might actually be uh, a text adventure. Oh, great. So I've got two cats in here at the moment. Jonesy, who's rarely in the room with me, I think he's over there in the heavily uh, covered patio windows. Nearly got his paw caught in the uh, door that I was closing. It's not my fault, I had the damp ski. I was holding a damp ski, so I didn't. He won't kill Aslan, innit? It's that simple, really. The colours seem really fucked up on this TV today. <clears throat> now, the reason I won't do cat videos is because uh, the same reason I never did cat videos at any time. Even when I had this cat, who was sort of like it had the uh, it had the mind of a sort of two or three year old human inside her. Very unusual cat. <clears throat> you want to go out, Jonesy? It's good for Jonesy to be in here. 
Well, I'm not going to tell you why I'm not doing cat videos. Oh, PSS. It is a proper game. Oh, shit. One. One. Well, we're sort of right. Gunfire support, let's go all Maggie Thatcher and everything, don't no, no. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, this might be an okay game for this kind of game, but <coughs> I don't play games like this. So. Well, at least we know what it is now. So maybe you want to go and try it, innit? Right, what directories haven't we done then? <laughs> I was reading the instructions for 3D Time Trek and it seemed quite interesting, but I seem to remember that I've played it and it's written in basic, so it's not very good. Not up to the usual uh, perceived Anirog uh, quality, although in reality Anirog were very hit and miss. Yeah, these are all. Um, <clears throat> oh, look, there's OCP Art Studio. Music Maker, Music. What's Music 64? Then? No, don't do it, Mad Commodore. Right, okay. Hang on a minute. There's only one A directory. Right, they all seem to be there. Good, good. And now we have to play work out the game from the, uh, you know, useless uh, file labelling method retro games have used. That looks like Alf We Design Monty. That's probably uh <clears throat> what does that mean? Let's give it a go. That's Aslan. There you go, buddy. Yeah, you go up on your little tower there. I would call you the name of the other wizard, not Gandalf, in uh, Lord of the Rings, but... Uh, oh, Sauron, man, that's it. Sauron is the uh, evil, the head honcho evil dude. Well, he's not really a dude, but he is in the uh, first clip, I don't know. Would I watch Lord of the Rings before Christmas? It's a good question. It is a good projector movie. <clears throat> and unless you've got a 4K Blu-ray player, uh, a 720p projector is fine because it's in extreme widescreen. The vertical resolution is not even 720 pixels. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't like watching uh, widescreen movies with extra letterboxing. I call them excessively widescreen. So you get widescreen, which is regular, you know, TV, fill up, fill up the entire TV, or excessively widescreen. Would I do any cooking videos? I think we discussed that already. <clears throat> You'll have to see earlier videos, which I may not have uploaded. That's the thing with this channel, you see. So I don't think we're going to get a loading screen straight away. I might be Alf We Design Pet. Because that didn't get a Kicks re-release. Oh, buddy. Why don't you go in front of the camera so they can see you? Hey. Yeah, he's standing right next to my head at the moment. 
Now, whether you should talk to your plants or not, that's another thing. But um, talking to your pets, they don't understand what you say, but they understand the tone of your voice. So, you know what, buddy? They make their own little noises. And if you engage your fucking brain, you'll see that they are trying to communicate with you. Mostly through body language, but, you know, some cats are vocal. A bit like the difference between my niece and nephew. My, my niece is very shy, she doesn't say much. But my nephew's not really like that. He's not outgoing or extrovert or anything, but he's not shy. But anyway, what's the matter, buddy? I thought you'd like it in here. It's a little treat for you. Uh, Aslan is a bit mm, apprehensive about him. The yeah, problem is, Adamski doesn't like him in uh, a closed room either. Uh, but they're both fine with him when they're both outside the. Uh, you know, the enclosed room that me and one of Adamski or Aslan is in. See, I have to deal with these problems whilst running a, a very busy YouTube channel. It may be dead, but technically my channel is it's like a hundred times more busy. <coughs> so I did the first thing, there's no loading screen at all. trying to see if everything is multicolored. I don't think it is. Only the uh, bits on the side where you've got the pop plant on the uh, 1970s uh, co column, you know, Roman column. Yeah. Sounds different to me. Anyway. Grass great. Music sounds really fucked up actually. I didn't want to go in this room. Ah. How are you supposed to get past that bit? Then? Why do I play these shit games? I don't like that game at all. <coughs> Especially on it, not this thing with this joystick and this seed emulation. Anyway, you can see him now using the uh, camera. Attack on wind scale, I think. No, that says side one and two, so it's not attack on wind scale. What is this then? It could be attack of the mutant camels, although I don't think there was a turbo loader on one side. Yeah. <clears throat> right, let's try attack side one, whatever that is. If it's attack of the mutant camels, it's coming straight off. I need another teammate. Yeah, it was attack on wind scout. So we have played this. It's becoming a bit of a problem now. Why is there side one and two? That's a really weird way of doing it anyway. So let's do astronaut now. That sounds like some new rubbish Athena shit. Um, okay, we'll do it in reverse order, which I think is uh, how all these, uh, you know, games making competitions should be done. Otherwise, I've seen the, uh, you know, the 
the ones at the top of the list and I don't want to see the rubbish that didn't get anywhere near the top of the list I'm not really interested yes that may be harsh but uh, I had high standards uh, for my own attempts at writing uh, C64 games and uh, I didn't realise how much shit was being put out there for like 8, 9 quid in 1984. Could have made a lot of money mate. <clears throat> Not as much money if I'd uh, realised that I could have created an estate agent's uh, you know, bespoke business software solution using an Amiga in the uh, late 80s. You know, the real boom of when estate agents were like popping up everywhere. Because people would come in the office it's quite nice music, bit loud bit powerful isn't it? Uh, uh, yeah and I would have had like uh, you know the, the pictures of the uh, houses in uh, you know hand pictures in a uh, a multimedia database. I never realised I could have done, I would have made a fortune. Is this the actual game? Is it loading? Is it loading sir? I've got no idea. Press space. Okay. See because retro games are such a bunch of cocksuckers, I've got no idea whether that's loading music or some rubbish intro that stops the loading procedure. Yeah, I, I never realised that I could have done that, and uh, I can't remember when Super Bass uh, Professional come out, that probably would have done it. So people would come into the office, they'd be looking for a house, and uh, they could see on the 20-inch uh, Sony Trinitron uh, TVs, which were a lot cheaper than 20-inch monitors, or even 14-inch, well, 17 inch VGA monitors and uh, you know you could show them like oh there's a house in so and so road it's uh, what you seem to be looking for it has a garden, a driveway uh, three bedrooms blah blah blah, traditional layout and uh, obviously they need to see the picture so you know now there wouldn't have been a website let's get that straight but the way estate agents even in the uh, early 90s were doing it was they were actually doing color photocopies of photographs actual physical photographs that were developed in you know like the chemist and uh, you know they were just using uh, double-sided uh, tape to stick them on a letter headed uh, paper that was had the uh, text printed up on uh, dot matrix or no, it would have been inkjet by then, or daisy wheel printers, but probably inkjet. No, actually this was before the time of inkjet, not not like photo quality inkjet, no, I think they came later. Yeah, in the early 90s, Okimate 20 was your best budget option, that really wasn't good enough. But, you know, when they come in the office, you know, it'd be like the early 90s. Mega had been out for ages and therefore changed the world to those who are clever enough uh, not to use a PC in business for that kind of situation. And uh, they were handing them out bits of, uh, bits of colour photocopied uh, paper or telling them to go and look at the only copy that they've got up in the window. Real, real crap situation. Joystick port one. Right, it's multi load. I've had enough already. It's joystick port one. We can't play it's multi load. Blah blah blah. Ataman. Up an atom. Ataman. Yeah, so uh, I would have made a fortune with that because it would have been a, a complete system for. Uh, a small to medium sized estate agent. 
The only reason it's not possible for a large estate agent franchise is because there you need a, a shared network database. Although technically you don't really. It's not like, um, you know, someone in London would walk into an office of, uh, I don't know, Castles or something, or Alan Douglas Spiru, something like that, I don't know, and say, oh, I'm looking for a flat in Scotland. Have you got anything? Let me just check on our network system for you. Mind you, it wouldn't have helped them anyway because they can't show pictures. <clears throat> anyway... I don't know if I've played this, it could be absolutely crap, it's definitely going to be like rubbish graphics I reckon for the uh, background. Looking at the uh, Petsky uh, crap buildings there in the background. So yeah that's, uh, yeah so a bit like Del Boy, this time next year we'd be millionaires, I don't think so mate. But uh, one of the guys not Ian Gray or Chris Cox or uh, the other guy. There is a, another guy who's involved in uh, Interceptor and, and he did make a lot of money out of it. We're talking, you know, a million by the mid-80s. And if you look at Interceptor games, yeah, I'm not being overly critical when I say they're all fucking shit to play. I only really like one of them. And that's uh, Towers of the Arabian Nights, and that is still a terrible game to play, but because of the speech and the music, I suppose the graphics are okay. <coughs> uh, and the nostalgic factor, because I did actually have that. Yeah, that's alright, but yes. Now, I don't think I could have written anything as good as, uh, you know, Towers of the Arabian Nights before I gave up. Well, if I stuck at it, I probably could have written something as good as Sprite Man, uh, Interceptor Kong, I think it's called Crazy Kong, uh, Scramble 64, I think. Yeah, you know, I could have definitely written something as good as Sprite Man if I'd been allowed, you know, like a machine code monitor or something and a few extra books and uh, other bits and pieces maybe laser genius from uh, ocean software or machine lightning if i bothered to buy machine lightning instead of white lightning buddy you put in a hole in the biscuits that's naughty the biscuits will go off if you do that buddy yeah the biscuits will go off come on yeah buddy yeah buddy you can off pearl a lot, huh? You're a savant, but you're not an idiot. There you go. Let's put you up on the camera, see if people can tell the difference between you and Lanny King. Here we go, buddy, there you go. Hello, YouTube. Yeah, he's not really saying that, obviously. Yes, my channel is very childish. Yes, I swear a lot. Yes, it's a weird combination. Interesting flashing lines. It's almost like my TV's gone a bit fun. It's a bit weird. I don't know, mate. Why don't you sleep? Huh? I thought cats sleep all the time, although you're only about three and three quarter years old, eh? Let's have a little look here. Speeds, super oh, that's not a good fucking. Let's see if the faces are a bit Firstly, purple. Game changers. If you haven't, if you're not very good at rapping, maybe you don't enjoy it. Maybe the presents that you wrap don't look that good at the end of it, and you're not that proud of the result. And the I love wrapping presents. What are you talking about, love? Game changing. You pop your present in. You've got those pre-threaded ribbons. Really lovely. Ah, these are. Yeah, come there. on, mate. And then you can tie both the front, or because you've got two ribbons, you can even tie both front and back if you want. My only problem is the uh, wrapping paper you get now is shit. It looks very cheap. The designs on it. Right, where's the old 
want your joystick. Now he's putting his stink on your joystick. You want your joystick. All right, I'll put it in my wheel for you, mate. Did you press the fire button, John G? So is this like Spider-Man or something? So fire doesn't do anything. Okay, so we obviously can't collect the bombs, or can we? No. Well, um... Okay. I don't know what you're supposed to do, because I've collected a bomb. And, uh, um, like the outline is flashing on my sprite. Do you have to collect all the bombs? Am I defusing the bombs? Is it like a rubbish bomb jack clone? No, I can't collect any bombs. Ah, come on, mate. He's kind of like Spider-Man. I'd rather be playing Spider-Man on the VCS. Chronologically adjusted, right? Okay, do you have to like put them up here or something? Is that where the bombs get defused? I believe so. Right, we've actually worked out how to play the game. Genius. There we go. So I guess. Is there a time limit? Yeah, there is a time limit, okay. Ooh, is that an extra? Ooh, nah. The game engine is not bad, actually. I thought this was a scrolling platform game, as in, uh, you know, sideways scrolling. Ah, come on, mate. Right, now that we know what we've got to do, it'll still be just as crap, but anyway. relatively safe. I'm supposed to collect those extra things. Why couldn't the uh, thing be right in the middle of the screen? That seems a bit obtuse to do it this way. But anyway, the coding's fine. The graphics for the ant are a bit rubbish because they've done a dark grey instead of black outline. But anyway, apart from that, Supposed to collect these things? No, well, not them. Maybe the helmet. So, Ooh. oh, I don't know why I'm dodging that. Dodgy geezer! And no, 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 no. See that one's going to be. That's not a bomb, though. Ah, come on, mate. I don't know how much energy I got. See, I should have done it as a horizontally scrolling game because, uh, you know, you only get 200 pixels high and they're using, like, 70 of those for this absolutely shit status panel with massively expanded graphics. You could have done that entire status panel in, like, 16 pixels. And so that's really my problem with this game. The rest of it is actually all okay. Yeah, extra time or something. Uh. Yeah, see. All right, I'm losing lives when that happens. I'm not just being chucked down. I think there's more up here somewhere. Eight, eight. There we go. Is that the last one? Oh, there's one more to get, because uh, the bombs are counting down, but I've only got one life at the moment. Mm. I want to see if there's another level. Ooh. get five lives but they run out very quickly so all right Jonesy 
pick off the uh, low hanging fruit as I like to call it. Alright oh, buddy. If you stand in front of my face, not only do I get the smell of your bum hole, but I can't see the uh, graphics mate. Alright, okay. Rubbing your face on the joystick while I'm trying to play the game doesn't help mate. Yeah, I just can't blame poor little Jonesy in it. So that's a terrible idea because the status panel is just too bloody uh, small. It's not like they're, well, they are scrolling colour around, but I mean, come on, learn how to bloody program all this fuck's sake. This will be my last go on this thing. I think I've used up all my fluky, uh, you know, fluky things on this one. So I've still got three bloody bombs to get. And, uh, yeah, you get the idea. Can you move the camera, buddy? Uh, well, you have now, ain't you? Yeah. Never mind about the camera. Right, well, that'll be a free game on the uh, Zap cover tapes, which I'm not. Let's try astronaut battle, buddy. Don't do that. Go and have some biscuits. Go and cook, boy. So we're having coffee now. Hey, don't do that. No. Yes, I understand you want the boxes. I leave them in my will. Ah, oh, look, look what you done, buddy. Go and eat some biscuits. Go on, go on. Look at the lovely biscuits there, good boy. See? I knew you wanted biscuits. I'm talking to him for your benefit, so you know what the hell's going on. Okay, well, that didn't work. So, never mind. It's probably rubbish. Yes, I know there's a game called Asshole there, I've just seen it, but uh, I doubt very much that was released back then. Mm, let's try Astral Attack and Astral Zone. No, no, don't do the boxes, buddy. I don't even know if they're lined up at the moment. What's going on with these boxes? What have you done to the boxes, you little shit? Alright, buddy. Yeah, food will be up in a little bit, eh? Wet food, that is. They have biscuits for breakfast first. The biscuits are their cornflakes. They are alternatives. That Ben Kenobi says, and I always tell you that he says that. By Jeff. Uh, is this that missile command knockoff? Yeah, I've played this. So we're zipping through the old tape uh, archives now, which is not good. Yeah, this probably was a released game looking at the loader. Well, it is kind of like, yeah, close enough, isn't it? How are you going to sit there? Alright then, it's going to be a bit tricky. Probably a rubbish game anyway. Yeah, my cat is now sitting on my chest, so it's going to be a bit iffy. <clears throat> what if I need a sip of coffee just to get me through a difficult level, buddy? Yeah, anyway. So, yeah, it's not really much more uh, emergency channel update shit to uh, talk about now. I kind of said what I was going to say. Loads of crap to do. Took me uh, an hour and a half to make the uh, lovely macaroni dinner. But uh, despite what my parents say, 
uh, the Asian supermarket shell macaroni is not the same as the Turkish ones. They are too bloody small. Okay, do I have to... Uh, well, I can't press stop on tape. There is no tape, mate. Here you go, you stay there, buddy. Okay, here we go. Another cock-up by Retro Games. Right, buddy. Not going to start until you press stop on the tape. Why would it force you to do that? Yeah, I think Retro Games should just change their name to uh, Arseholes. Yeah. The C64 by Arseholes. The Amiga Mini by Arseholes. Yeah, it works really well, actually. Because you're like, hmm, if it's made by Arseholes, perhaps I should do some real research. Avoid all the Patreon pricks and just get Mad Commodore's opinion on the C64 and therefore the VIC-20. Yeah, i still got a few more VIC-20 games to do. Uh, I was going through the 16K stuff. And uh, yeah, a bit like Jacqueline Hyde, uh, I got things a bit mixed up in the old, uh, you know, online persona thing. And... Uh, yeah, I was just like waffling on like Mad Commodore. I'm like, no, 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 this, this ain't going to work. So I have to do uh, about an hour and a half's worth of 16k games and then some more. But I have to actually go through loads of them first. So there is that. I think we're probably up to about 17 or 18 hours on the Vic 20 stuff. It'll probably be about 20 hours. So I guess the Mad Commodore Christmas special blah 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 bollocks is going to be a uh, Vic 20 centric. I guess. Because uh, I won't have enough of the house done to do, you know, the Ghostbusters Christmas special. So maybe it'd be the Ghostbusters Easter special or maybe I'll be dead. Because a fucking idiot. Oh, I've played this out. Oh, bollocks, this is shit game. I like this game. And it's... Uh, it's I don't really know what you've got to do on it anyway. Uh, army moves didn't really work. We've played Arnie loads of times. Armadillo. Armadillo is a Codemasters game I had. I think I've done that. Uh, Arctic Fox. Armageddon I've done. Uh, Ark of Yesod or Nodes of Yesod I've done and therefore I've done both done Arcana Apache Raid it is then very racist game obviously as Mark Thomas said uh, he, he, he saw a Native American wearing a t-shirt that he loved and it said uh, fighting terrorism since 1492 that says it all mate a fucking prick like George W Bush gets up there and says oh we've got to fight terrorism a fucking you took over the entire country from the Native Americans absolutely fucked them slaughtered them if that's not terrorism mate what is <clears throat> so <clears throat> perhaps the uh, slogan should be black and Native American lives matter mate because you both got fucked and for Europe <clears throat> it should be uh, non, non-Christian Mediterranean lives matter too because it seems a thing where Europe was the Christian European countries were constantly fucking, you know, the non-Christian European countries. There you go, mate. It'd probably be quite good with a light gun. I bet your bullets are limited. I bet you they are. Why are there smiley faces on the bottom of the screen? They are smiley faces, aren't they? Ooh. Yes. I 
I'm not getting any of them. And two right and all. You shouldn't be shooting Native Americans after invading their country. Next. There's no such thing as uh, an American as such. There's Native Americans. Americans are just <coughs> a mishmash of, uh, you know, European and South American. You know, Britain wasn't in Europe at the time. You get the idea, mate. I think that's most of, makes up most of their thing. That's obviously what was left over from the slave trade that uh, you know they were engaged in. Mostly Spanish, because uh, yeah, I think the Spanish anyway conquistadors. Uh, I don't know if I played Aqua Racer actually. Let's give it a go. It's Bubble Bus Software. It's a 2.5D sports-based uh, kind of r racing game, I think. So, yeah, what was I talking about before? Who knows, mate? I don't know if I waffle on. But anyway... Now, Jonesy, are you comfortable enough for me to reach over and get my coffee? Uh, yeah. Here we go, buddy. Oh, I was talking about the shell macaroni, yeah, because they're not the same bloody size. That's why they cost more. Because <clears throat> I was feeling the uh, Turkish uh, shell macaroni uh, with like a, a little spoon. You couldn't do that with this. You had to use the uh, handle of the spoon. I was like, fuck's sake. But I was like, I'm hungry. This is all we got potentially to eat. Everything else is in the freezer. Didn't take any uh, kind of, uh, you know, uncooked or cooked meats out of the fridge. Anyway, you don't need to know. I was delicious, however, an hour and a half and half an hour to, uh, yeah, make the filling and the toppings. Yeah, it is a delicious dinner. It did fill me up, actually. However, I think I'll stick with rigatoni. Because uh, going to the uh, Cypriot supermarket is a real fucking risk to my life, mate. That's such a pokey little shop. It's like a 1970s corner shop. There's only about one and a half foot between each of the uh, aisles of shelves. I don't know what to make of the music. Let's try a demo mode. Hallelujah, Joystick Pool 2. I don't know if I've played this actually. Well, he's not very good at this game. I presume this is uh, Richard Clark's attempts to play the game, who programmed it, uh, uh, recorded for posterity. So, hmm. looks like. Is going to be a fiendish game to play, so fiendish. So they don't really look like uh, boats. They look more like, uh, you know, rubbish spaceships from uh, the second lot of uh, Star Wars trilogy movies released, you know, in the 90s. Or they look like a, a black rubber dinghy with a grey eye of Sauron on the top, if I'm honest. I wish I hadn't put a demo mode, because if you can't put a demo mode in there, mate. Right, yeah. You know, you're deciding what you're going to do, because I need to play this game. Yeah, Jonesy is a bit of a savant. He's very artistic, bless him. He gets the felt tip pens with his mouth and he uh, he puts them through the hoops in my uh, laces on my trainers. 
and then uh, they go through the uh, you know the laces and into the actual trainer. He's making art, bless him. However, that makes him a little bit socially awkward. What happened to the graphics there? Is that right? Sorry, buddy, I have to lean forward. I do it slowly. No, buddy. He's watching, actually, so I better do good. Nah, no, straight away, I'm even worse than the uh, demo thing. I told you, when the demo mode is that shit. There was a game by Tronics, it was like a motorcycle racing game, kind of reminds me of that. So I'm overtaking other people there. Yeah. See, unlike in pole position where you can see exactly where the road is, you got these like jaggedy uh, plates. Ah, and if you go out, you're disqualified straight away. See, because they insist on that shit system. Come on, buddy, come and sit here. Bloody game. So that is quite fast. The mountains are black and green, or green and black and yellow, so it's a bit shit. No reason for that. Well, I can see the screen. Just about. Yeah, it's like magnetic attraction. This is only the qualifying round, exactly. Hey, oh, come on. Do I actually lose a life? essentially, or is it just time? Am I limited how many times I can crash into things? <coughs> oh, We're not going to do it if we keep crashing, obviously. Nah, we're not going to beat that time. So it's insanely difficult already. Yeah, piss off, mate. Learn how to write a better game. We'll do better graphics. There we go. You can't jump on this TV. It's not a Trinitron, buddy. Aquanaut. Let's try that then. Aquafabe. I believe that's what the uh, water from chickpeas is called. Yeah, I could do the little trays and feed the cats. Put the uh, camera battery on charge for a bit, but uh, no. Nah, I don't think I'll do that. I've got enough videos just sitting there that need to be uh, stitched together and uploaded. Oh, I better not put them on, uh, you know, schedule because, uh, you know, people are like unsubscribe. Now, if it wasn't for the the fact that it was a rescue on fractalus video, that'd be fair enough. But it's there for a reason. It's like, yeah, listen, mate. Half eight Friday. This thing that I've been working on in my mind, not you know, literally uh, for ages, as an idea. You know, I kind of cobbled something together just so it's done and dusted. Yeah, see, that's the thing. I recorded all the NES, all the VCS, uh, some of the PS2 and some of the SX64 games uh, before I'd ever uploaded a single one on my channel. Uh, so that's another reason why they're better. It's not just because it's pre-COVID 2019. 
it's the fact that I didn't know that my channel people would uh, abandon the channel in uh, you know in their droves. Oh, you're gonna talk on all your videos. Well, it is a review. Click unsubscribe. So you know, but my channel I'll do what I want with it, mate. People who enjoy my channel, yeah, you're welcome. If you don't like the channel, you don't have to watch it. It's, it's that simple, really. I'm not really fast. You know. I'm more annoyed that I spent all that time doing the Star Wars Holiday Special. And by time, I mean, you know, the bit with the uh, Christmas pudding zooming in you know with the uh you know in the background when they're in the millennium falcon and uh, ben kenobi says that's no moon that's uh and then he cuts straight to the uh mad commodore star wars holiday special with explosions and millennium falcon and yeah that is for patreon prequel what should we do with the drunken sailor da, 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 da. I don't know, what do you do with a drunken? Well, nothing, really. I just thought the thing is. Well, I pressed the key on the keyboard. So I can go left and right, but not up and down. All right, that's the maximum height. Fire button does something. I was just about to say it may potentially be an alright game, but uh, this is what I mean about Interceptor Games. The, one of the guys involved in this company made a million. I hope he fucking got cancer and died, mate. There's me struggling on benefits, and I've got fucking, you know, taste and standards, and that cunt fucking made a million. And I had the uh, IQ of a fucking genius. Oh, shit, am I going to even make it over that one? Just about. I can't, you can't go any fucking higher. Alright, so we're not supposed to go that way then. Is that what it is? How are you supposed to get through? You can't get through there. Ah, for... F exactly, mate. Like I said, I hope he fucking got AIDS uh, on a one-night stand with an ugly woman and died, mate, very quickly. Fucking cunt. So I guess this one's not going on Retrotronics either. Anyway. I think I will stop the... Uh, use joystick port B and uh, as you can see it is not using joystick port B unless joystick port B is joystick port 1 so obviously written by some prick who never went to school and uh, there's one cracker that, that don't work properly either as well so there's that uh, And attack is shit, actually. You should go and play it on the Spectrum. I don't like the C64 version. Uh, and that may shock you, but uh, it's a fact of life, mate. There's no reason why they couldn't have done it exactly the same as the Spectrum. I mean, anyway. I just don't like it. The sprites are okay, but anyway. So, Stinky, Cammy, Firecracker, she's got many names. He's in the room now. Uh, she only wanted to come in the room because she associates coming in this room with having web box, which obviously they're not doing at the moment. Da, da, da. 
Now the reason I don't really use the breakfast room anymore is because the whole business with uh, you know two of my cats hating each other so much that they wouldn't stop fighting if they see each other probably maybe they'll just look one of them will look for the other one either so it could be even worse than that <clears throat> that all happened after i stopped using the breakfast room to do the uh, ps2 and uh, sx64 videos etc what is this crap i'll go that way The graphics look buggered, so that's not good. And it loaded far too quickly, so... I don't know what that is, I don't know what angle ball is. Just saying shit, handicap is like... Uh, I wouldn't want to play it even if I knew how to play it. <clears throat> Anything with the uh, word 3D in there on the C64 is probably uh, not a good idea. That could be alternate world games. I don't know what the other one is. Oh, I just thought of a game I haven't tried yet. If it's in here. See, this menu system is absolutely rubbish, so there's a... Uh, it doesn't look like schizophrenia is, is on here. It should be SCH, isn't it? Did it have another? It had another name as well. I can't remember what the other name is now. It's by uh, uh, I don't know who does it actually. Is it Quicksilver? I keep pressing the wrong bloody button. It's a terrible menu system, honestly. Absolutely shit. See, even Firecracker is agreeing with me there. So, uh, I think it was by Quicksilver. There we go. Mm, great. Uh, let's try... Uh, well, if we're going to do elevator action, see, I should press the wrong button again. And it, it don't fucking exist as a tape. Oh, come on, mate. Eagle, I think that's uh, I don't know what that is. Oh, I haven't seen Iron Eagle for a long time. I remember watching that on VHS, that's how long ago that was. And on our uh, first ever front loading uh, VCR, and tape loaders what's the matter buddy hmm? what's wrong hmm? what's your thing on you want to go out hey eh? oh you've, you've only got a few few patches of solid black on you now
hate crack trays where pressing a fire doesn't bloody do it. Okay, I'm surprised this isn't actually in the uh, tap directory, but anyway. I wanted to play Mission Elevator, this is not the one I wanted to play, so, uh, so I was looking at the graphics of uh, um, Mission Elevator and I was like, mm, that looks interesting. I couldn't remember which of the elevator games it was. So, uh, I think this is the one that I didn't have. I, I had Elevator Action, which is uh, arcade conversion, legal or otherwise, uh, but I had Gumshoe, which I preferred. That was on the uh, Soft Aid tape that I got. Soft Aid is actually the best compilation, uh, probably, because it was only five quid. And you got 10 games, so they were 50p each. And uh, had, had some good games on there for like 50p. Right, Stinky is interested in the uh, scratching post now. I think, I think there's that stuff on there. What's it called? Catnip. That's it. Should be called catnap, does make them uh, go to sleep eventually. And that makes some of them crazy. So, our project to uh, uh, make uh, Stinky less timid uh, sounds weird, sounds like a bloody South Park bloody thing that does. Mr. Mr. Hanky. Well, she's called Stinky because she wouldn't go in the litter tray when she was a kitten. And she does still do a wee outside the litter tray sometimes. But yeah, that project is going well. She does let you uh, pick her up now for about 15-20 seconds now. I remember in uh, 1995 we moved into this house and uh, there was this uh, long fur uh, white tortoiseshell cat who I named Marmalade, we'll never know what she was originally called. I don't know if she was abandoned, someone moved and left the cat. People do that and they're scum. I was surprised a difficult and dangerous mission exists, so I guess we have to do it. Needs must. And how do I do that? How do I do that? Press the key on the keyboard. Identify yourself. Well, I can't actually change the letters using either the keyboard or it's joystick port one, we're stuffed. Damn it! I don't know who does that game. Who wants to play a fucking cut down version of Zork from. Uh... Anyway. Mission Summon Corrupter, let's try Mission Genocide. I might have played that though. I think that's a budget game. Yeah, I think I have played that. Mission Summon Bubble, is that for Greek people only? Who knows mate, who knows eh? Missile Madness, let's try that. And then we'll try Missile Command afterwards. Although the battery doesn't seem to think so.
I never understood why people wanted to. Uh... Oh no 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 no! No, I don't want to play modern games. <coughs> I don't think Atari Soft ever actually converted Missile Command to the C64 and Atari Soft used to make C64 and VIC-20 games shit on purpose most of the time especially on the C64 I mean pole position is alright, I don't know why it's got those shit colours they do it on purpose and they really fuck themselves because uh, their games were 30 quid on cartridge for the VIC-20 and C64 and Commodore cartridges were only 15 quid so yeah, let's see, I could buy Galaxian or Pac-Man by Atari Soft for 30 quid or I could buy International Soccer for 15 quid. Exactly mate, you know, I think, uh, or even Star Battle and Jelly Monsters, we done that. What's the matter buddy? Hmm? What's wrong? Hmm? We trying to kill her. What are you trying to communicate? Hmm? So you want to go out the room, but you want to investigate at the same time. Well, that's interesting. That's the interesting situation, eh? Now, Stinky doesn't trust me. I know that because... She never rolls on her side and shows you her belly. That's uh, that's what they perceive to be their, uh, you know. Well, if they were like an end of level boss, that's where you'd have to fire the bullets, basically. So if a cat doesn't do that, it means they don't really trust you. I'm trying to think how many of my cats don't do it. About three of them won't do that. Possibly four. Uh, Amy, if she's in a good mood, hormonally, uh, a damp skin Aslan, yes, yeah, it's three for sure, well really it's two for sure, and there you go, there's my problem really, the two cats that like me the most, they're the two cats that I could never keep, so if I can't keep them two, there's no point getting rid of any others, because I'm never going to get rid of six of my cats. Yeah. Alright buddy, I thought you were having biscuits. Mm, go and have a few more, go on. You're a little bit small, you're always small, you are. Maybe your front legs will grow a bit more if you eat more. I don't think so though. I think they were born in late January, so they are nearly four years old. Buddy. Why do you want the boxes that the camera's on, hmm? That's what they mean when they, uh, you know, put their stink from their, the side of their mouth on something. That's what it means. It means want. And uh, if they do it to you, it means they want you to do something. They don't actually want you. Literally.